everyone, I'm Hugo. And I'm Jake, and this is my show. And this is, yeah, this is Jake Reed's number... Don't touch me, wizard! Don't touch know. me, wizard. Oh, that's just... Don't touch... It's a, it's a sentence now. It's not just like a noun. It's like, don't touch me, wizard! There's a wizard, and it's out to touch me. We've both been drinking. Yeah. You go more than me. This is fine. It's fine. I'm, I'm on... Let's see. I, I had 24 You're on drink ounces. five. 20 no, don't 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 tell them what they what you drink. Just tell them that you drink. No one I wants to hear drank. what you drink. I drink. It's okay. Anyway, it's good. We're we're doing this later than we usually do it. We usually do this in the middle of the day, but it is evening. It's my uh, girlfriend's night off, so I've been drinking, and here we are. What was that noise? That was, was just this, your finger. That's I, weird. There's something in I, my glass they can't that I'm <laughs> trying to get off the side of the glass, but then my finger came out with alcohol on it, so I slurped it. Anyway, today we're here to... Uh, Jake's going to read more of your comments, or to be more precise, I'm going to read them and he's going to respond to them. And not only do we have the normal questions, we also have a lightning round this time, so Yeah, well, I got a lot of really bad short answer questions, so I figured I'd do a lightning round. So lightning round, stick around today. Yeah. Hooray. Anyway, first one. This is from our War Room review and Colt Delta Elite 10 millimeter. Wow, this guy's this guy's super serious. He has. Like I immediately several... take him seriously. Yeah. yeah, I'm just saying. 32 minutes to critique a Christian movie. Four question marks. Wow, how's your social life going? Again, four question marks. At least they're uh, consistent. I'm a darhard Christian, and I've never cared for the f- these Christian films myself, not because of the message of God, but because they are of low budget and just boring. What I didn't like about this movie was they had a cameo appearance of a straight-up charlatan Beth Moore. She is a horrible false teacher of a true of the true gospel. She twists scripture and is a deceiver of the Bible. That turned me off of the rest of the movie. <laughs> Beth Moore's all right looking though. I don't know. She's kind of like a she kind of got this milf thing going on. Uh but she is the founder of Living Proof Ministries and I didn't know she existed until you were mad about her, which made me happy. Uh I don't every time people critique the amount of time that we take to review something as if we should only dedicate, I don't know, under 32 minutes to something that was 2 hours long. I don't I just I thought don't know we, what to tell you. I just thought we were being thorough and trying to, like, accurate... Like, if we did it for, like, ten minutes, wouldn't they be like, oh, you didn't even go into, like, half the shit that was in the movie? Like, usually, <laughs> aren't no we trying spot. to delve into the things that are in the movie, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I, it's it's just weird. Or, like, when we do uh, uh, trailer reviews or trailer breakdowns, people be like, 20 minutes for a trailer? Well, we talk about it, we speculate, and it's fun. Like, you know, you don't have to be here. It's fine. Get the out same. of here. What Colt else? Delta Elite 10 millimeter. There's no way this guy doesn't play CS:GO. This was on our video Unicorns in the Bible, which is one of our atheist Bible studies. Divine Works says, "Here you go, atheists. We'll be seeing you in hell." And then there's a link. It's a long link. They didn't even take the time to do a, a tiny URL thing, but whatever. It's a fucking rhinoceros. Yeah. And also, it was, uh, you know, 29,000 years ago <laughs> in Kazakhstan. So, I mean, like, pick your poison with that one, you fuck. It's not a, it's not a horse. It's ri- it was a rhinoceros with rhino feet and rhino face. Yeah, it's got a and horn. It just had a I, horn. I get it. Just There's... like a rhinoceros. Sure. I've been getting a lot of gotcha fucking article links to this recently. Like, ha-ha, see unicorns. Like... Like, them believing in unicorns is suddenly a good thing to have in your ammo belt. They've run out of other good things, so they're going back to the mediocre things in the hopes that maybe we'll forget that they're garbage. <laughs> this is from a review of the Young Messiah trailer, uh, and Euromix2 says, Wow, unless it was intended as a joke, that ad block comment at the beginning sounded super salty. Disappointed about the amount of ad co- Oh, this ad a, bucks. Sorry, I thought it was cucks. I've been reading too much Reddit lately. Disappointed in the amount of ad bucks you're pulling in from YouTube or something, guys. And then, it, you know, it continues on. But <laughs> so, you get it. in the beginning of the uh, Young Messiah video, Hugo makes an obvious joke. Like, you know, you would have seen the, the ads for this video on the front of a bunch of YouTube videos recently if you don't lo- use ad block like a good person. Like, it was clearly a joke. Especially from Hugo. And then later on, like during our YouTube Red video about Hugo, Hugo's like, yeah, I use Adblock. I whitelist people, but, you know, I get it if you don't, because ads suck. 
No, we don't care if you use ad block. I don't care. Nah. Euro guy who uses a, a me nah. as your fucking thing. Who cares? This guy got... He thought you were you were salty. Wow, is this guy salty? This guy and Basically, cared. he goes on he goes on to say like, you know, uh, I probably would have donated if uh you hadn't said that. Like, I don't give a fuck. This guy cares more about what he thinks I care about than I care about anything that I've ever cared about. And that includes about and that includes family members and family pets. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, you don't have to get mad at us for stuff. And no, we're not disappointed in the amount of ad bucks we get from YouTube. But I sure would like some of that PewDiePie cash. <laughs> this is from our God Loves Uganda review, Gabriel Talent. Wow, what a, what a, I, I hope that's his given name. Otherwise, maybe it's a little bit too self-aggrandizing. Unitarians aren't Christians. I'm an atheist Unitarian. No. Unitarians are are just people that think that God is one entity instead of a Trinitarian, which is God being three persons in one being. I'm pretty sure don't they also I'm pretty sure they also believe like in a pretty general opening. They don't like believe in a lot of the rules of necessarily old school Christianity. They're often very open to like homosexuals yeah, and stuff. But it totally depends. But yeah, it is it is historically um, and most often a Christian theological movement. Sure. According to the Wikipedia page, it's the first sentence. Like, like I was like, oh, have I had Unitarianism wrong this whole... No. No. You're They're... wrong. You can be, you can be like Jewish and atheist, or I guess you can be Unitarian and atheist, but that's only like, that just means socially you're Unitarian. Like, the social groups you work in are that. It doesn't mean that you are a Unitarian. Does that make sense? There's, there's like, you old... can be culturally Jewish and not believe. There's an old joke, actually, that goes, what do you call an atheist with kids? A Unitarian. And the joke is basically upon the premise that even if you're an atheist when you have kids and you want them to have some sort of moral center, you become a Unitarian because it's the yeah. like least stringent of the Christian sects. Again, I'm not right. saying that's reality. It's still I'm just Christian, saying Christian though. Like, I'm saying the that's the old, oh. you know, stereotype of Unitarians. So come on. Yeah, I, like you don't have to be Christian, but Unitarianism is Christian in basis like it starts there it starts with the belief that god exists sure. and that he is one thing and that it happens to be the christian god there's no way around it sorry dude or lady i guess gabriel could be a chick gabrielle this is from our god's not dead 2 trailer review jamie sigler says i'm a christian and i'm not even mad this was actually pretty funny obviously i don't agree with some of the things you said but you seem pretty reasonable and for the record i have spoken to atheists who literally think that christians are evil and should die or have no rights etc etc i'm not exaggerating and that is not the minority of atheists with whom i've spoken however i have spoken to reasonable atheists who don't really care what you believe and don't hate you just for being christians it's like i want to like her but i'm a, i can't <laughs> <laughs> i see i understand what she's going for but i also would yeah. argue it's the same thing as when there's an atheist who says like every christian i've ever met is a fucking idiot you know it's yeah, it's like shut up yeah <laughs> <laughs> like it's, it's just this is not the case yeah, just people are pretty much all right however they are again maybe it's because i've had a few drinks but i'm pretty much cool with everyone right now but again <laughs> that's probably the alcohol whatever talk to me when yeah. i'm sober and i'll hate on the people that you want me to hate on whatever youtube demographics i'm a slave to you <laughs> you're the hillary of this show there you go uh, yeah and i'm the birdie <laughs> birdie. birdie sanders that fucking got that got weird Ugh. So this bird lands on Bernie Sanders' thing, and people are like, ah, it's cute. And then suddenly people are like, it's fucking, it was Jesus. He wants you to vote Bernie. My favorite, Bernie's a Jew. My favorite, <laughs> don't get me wrong, I like Bernie Sanders, and I wish he would mm -hmm. win, but my favorite joke about that was uh, Bernie Sanders supporters confuse bird for 800 delegates. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed that it. That was good. Yeah. That was That was great. Anyway. Um, as far as the, uh, I guess we'll talk about the the comment one more time. Um, I don't know. Are you like searching our atheism for reasonable atheists or something? Like the fact that you have spoken to reasonable atheists ever 
is actually surprising, assuming, like, because anywhere you find the majority of atheists that think all Christians are evil, should die, and should have no rights, it's it can't it's gotta be like 4chan. <laughs> <laughs> and 4chan doesn't even have, like, a, a board for atheists. They're just assholes. This is from our chick track that we did uh, with the amazing atheist, the one called The Bully. Layer or Laurier, or however this fucking LARPer pronounces his name, says, I like you guys in your videos, but I lost all respect for the amazing atheist. It was in, and then there's a link to a video. Five minutes, five seconds at the end. Now I have a gun, and I think gun control is stupid because it doesn't work. But when you end your video with, if you disagree with me, I'm packing, and I will come find you and should shoot you, it's hard to take it as a joke. I know it's not directed at me personally, but ending your diatribe, hope I'm using it correctly, with a murder threat, is how you should automatically lose. I, uh, so I watched that video in its entirety. And uh, I was like, "All right, someone hates TJ. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if they're valid." Here's the clip he's talking about. You know, maybe you disagree with what I said in this video, but if you do, I think you better know that I'm packing, and I will come find you and shoot you. Okay, g guy who photoshopped himself with a lightsaber. Like, are you serious right now? There's a lot of reasons to lose respect for TJ. Bananas. Uh. Facial hair, uh, maybe he likes wrestling and you disagree, which I do. I think wrestling's garbage. That's totally good, valid reasons to not like TJ. But not for a joke, man. Like, and it wasn't even like a bad joke. It wasn't even like a like a joke that someone would normally take seriously. You're the only one. You're probably the only person ever to think that he actually thought, like, I'm going to hunt people down for real and murder them. Like you're the only person that's ever been offended by that. There are things it's weird. There are things I disagree with TJ on, as I know that there are things that you disagree with TJ on. But at the very end of the day, I can say, "Hey, I've seen his asshole," and you know what? I can't be threatened <laughs> by that. <laughs> what if the asshole is coming towards you? Eh, then it's inviting. Okay. That's not even threatening. That's it's, hey, you want you want in, and I'll go. Okay. Hi, TJ. Yeah. I hope you're watching this episode. <laughs> it's a kissy noise towards your butthole. Anyway. You're gonna wait. Hold on. We can't gloss over the fact that you're gonna kiss his butthole. Uh, that's not even a. That's not even tossing the salad. That's just kind of like greeting it nicely. Like you invited his butthole over for a dinner party. You took its jacket. You hung it up on the coat rack, and then you're like, "Oh, this isn't sexual." Oh, I you. don't want to fuck TJ. Don't get me wrong. TJ is fine. Like I'd hang out with TJ and whatever, but I'm not gonna fuck him. But I'll kiss his butthole out of out of you know being polite. So he, he comes over and. You kiss his butthole, then you offer him like an hors d'oeuvre, like a little tiny. Sandwich. Oh yeah, you gotta get the uh, you gotta get the cucumber cocktail sandwiches? shrimp. The cocktail, cocktail shrimp. shrimp. Oh yeah. There's more connotations in that sentence than anything we've ever done. This is from the last Jake reads actually, and this is from Philip Key. Dear Hugo and Jake, I'm currently 19 years old, and I'm in my final year of high school. A B average student, and I continuously find it harder and harder to keep under the radar when pressured by my parents about not wanting to go to college. It's not that I don't want to learn or don't like to learn, but that the institutional education system and current climate of colleges, universities are not for me. My parents are divorced, and I can talk easily with my dad about not wanting or not being ready for it. Well, while my mother admittedly questions me repeatedly with rapid-fire questions, not giving me the time or patience to respond calmly. So I usually sit and slither away, just nodding my head and walking away. I know she expects me to do this, but how can I get her to understand college is not for everyone? Thank you. I hope you guys see this. Love your work. Uh, well, Philip, uh, I don't think that college is for everyone. Um, uh, you seem like a good student. You seem like you know what the fuck you're talking about. Maybe a trade school's more your thing, or the military, or maybe you just want to see if the job market will accept you, and maybe you can do something there. That's fine. Um, I understand why your mom might think that college is a thing you need to do, uh, for two reasons. Number one, uh, the most obvious one, is she's been told her entire life that everyone should go to college. Um, and for a while, that was right. And, and number two, um, she genuinely cares about your future. Uh, and both of those are valid, uh, although I don't, obviously I don't agree with the way that she uh, gish gallops you and <laughs> rapid fires and doesn't let you, you know, actually get a word in about your own future. 
Uh, but, you know, just know that it comes from a good place. It's not like she wants to pay for your college, you know, out of the kindness of her heart b just because she just wants you to go to college. It's clearly she cares about you. So it's not that, you know, big a deal. I, I would maybe write her a letter or something because you seem well spoken and you can you can write a proper sentence. I'm good with that. You use commas correctly. Uh, so maybe, maybe, you, uh, write her something and it, it'll force her, what letters do is they force the reader to sit there. And if you print it out rather than, like, texting, it won't get glossed over as often, if that makes sure. sense. People tending, people tend to read when something's in their hand yeah. rather than on a screen, even though the screen's in your hand, but you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I would, I, but instead of just saying, I don't think college is for me, offer her the other things you're thinking about instead of college, such as the trade school, or if you want to go to the military, or if, I don't know what you're doing, uh, maybe you're successful at something right now that you think is good for now, um, but, you know, offer her alternatives to college rather than just saying, I'm not going, because then it just sounds like, and I want to try. Yeah, you know I, what I'm saying, and I and I totally understand where that would be. I definitely agree with that second part where you're basically saying that he needs to come up with a plan for what he's gonna do instead, because usually after high school, you you have this broad open, what are you gonna do? And I think that's yeah. mostly what she's worried about. It's not gonna be, it's not necessarily even, is he gonna go to college? What's he gonna do in college? It's more so underlying that fear is what is he going to do after high school it's not just is he going to go to college so if you're going to try and do your own thing write up a plan for what you're going to do in a time scale and if you're going to go to a trade school go to a trade school but definitely have a plan uh i got pretty lucky with this show so far as far as what i'm doing after high school but uh and i did do, yeah. do some college but i'm just saying make sure you do have a plan don't just go i'm pretty smart i'm an ab student i'll probably be fine no you do have to you, you have to plan you have to do something some sort of right. secondary education whether it be college or a trade school or like jake said even the military because they do it do like if you're not doing combat roles you can do sort of computer science things with them whatever it may be have a plan for what you're going to do because just getting out there and being like i don't know whatever probably won't work out too well have some right. sort of plan uh, and even if you want to take a year off i totally sure get people get burnt out it's whatever if you but but definitely have a plan in place at least a tentative plan. like you don't have to actually go through with the plan just it can change over time like maybe your plan now is not to go to college and go to trade school or not do anything for a year and just see where it takes you maybe i don't know write and travel the country who fucking knows <laughs> but Plans can change, and maybe in a year, two years, three years, you want to go to college. Sure. And just keep yourself open in that. Don't don't just stick to something because you said you would do it. Yeah. Be malleable. But but definitely, I would give her alternatives and say, like, here's what I'm thinking about for my future. And actually actually genuinely think about it, because I don't know if you have – because I don't have any indica indication here. If you have thought about it other than not doing something, uh, but, yeah, definitely, uh, you know, explore that. This is a time in your life where everything's fucking crazy. And the second you graduate, it goes so fast. And you, the first thing that happens is all your friends leave. Yeah. Like, even the friends that you weren't super close with or friends that you are super close with. Like, everything changes. It's super weird. Yeah. And it's kind of a crazy transition. So I totally get if you want to take time off to kind of process this. Like, senioritis is, is totally a real thing for yeah. high schoolers in America. Like, it happens. I would, um, honestly, I, I can speak from personal experience. If you're going into college, if you do go into college just because socially and your parents tell you it's expected of you and, like, your school yeah. tells you it's expected of you, you're going to go into your first year of college not really feeling it, not like you really want to do right. it. And it's gonna, it's you're gonna suffer for it because I dealt with that too. By I my second, by my second semester, I was really feeling, <laughs> feeling like, why am I doing yeah. this? This isn't even something I want to do. And luckily, I wound up doing this. But someday, I'd like no. to go back when I'm more, you know, of my own fruition and when I'm more ready for it. But at the time, it, did you say fruition instead of volition? Eh, whatever you get, what Fru I'm saying. Fruition would be like, I you'd like. It doesn't apply in that sentence. Okay, volition. Like your then. thoughts, I, you know, your, been... your, your, your feelings about it can come to fruition. All right. Well, maybe you can but... drop out of college and then wind up doing this and wind up doing this questionnaire. Well, uh, two two drinks in, and then you can confuse words for other words. But you get what I'm saying. <laughs> Do it when you're ready, because if you're not feeling it and you're not willing to have yeah, the drive to get definitely. through it, then I... it's just a 
Yeah. I agree. But I will say I took time off after high school. I moved away, far away from my family. I was all on my own. It taught me a lot about how to like be responsible for yourself and blah, blah, blah. Um, and then when I decided to go to college, my um, very first class was when I decided that I was going to be a history major because my very first class was with someone who had a terrible review on Rate My Professor, and she's easily one of the greatest professors I've ever had. It's just because she has a lot of work for an intro class, um, and I and it was like a community college, so I totally get why she had a bad one, but holy shit, was she great, and she inspired me to do you know what I want to do, and... Uh, that's I don't know. So you might find out that college is for you after you go. But you know, do what you want for now. Just make sure you have a plan in place. I love you, Philip. I love you so much. This is from our atheist Bible study, Unicorns in the Bible. Princess KLS says, "Do Hugo and Jake have you ever had someone say they were offended by your logo?" Actually, yes. Which is surprising. Most of the time, people confuse it for a cool youth group or what it is, just atheists. Um, but one guy, um, and I can't remember the name or even what form it was on. I want to say it was Twitter, but it could have been anywhere. One guy was like so mad. Jesus would never have guns. <laughs> he would never, ever be violent and have guns. It's like, what if they're recreational guns, bro? And then Jesus doesn't hang with his hang with his dudes. He might have do like, target practice. That's all he did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It was weird. So yeah, one time. Um, but uh, like most people that wear our shirts around get approached, and it's always curiosity. Yeah, uh, I don't think I've had anyone say like, "Oh, I got a bunch of shit for wearing your shirt," unless it was something they'd worn before, and you know, yeah, people had known about him. Be like, "Oh, you fucking atheist shirt," but um. Most people, like a guy went to the airport recently and said he, he got asked questions about it like three times, which is interesting. That's pretty cool. Um, so, uh, yeah, just the once that I can recall. I'm sure it's happened more, more than once, but I, I don't see every single thing that comes at us. It's too much. Honestly, the only people who have ever told me anything other than obviously in comments on YouTube, the only person I've gotten uh, severe criticism from is honestly my parents who were like, are you sure you want that to be your logo? <laughs> like, people are going to give you shit for that. But other than that, it's been fine. I've worn yeah. that shirt out. Like, don't get me wrong. I usually wear a jacket over it a little bit in the hopes that maybe someday someone will be like, hey, you watch the Bible Reloaded? And then I'll be like, haha, bitch, I'm one of the people from that. I don't know why I'm planning on punking them, but that's that's my plan. <laughs> um, my mom actually um, was, I think we told this story before, but just in case no one's heard it. Uh, she was in uh, the supermarket and she was actually wearing her shirt. Because uh, she actually watches the show from time to time. Um, and a kid that was working there, like a bagger or a cashier or something, stopped stopped her. It was like, do you watch the Bible Reloaded? And she's like, actually, my, sons do it. my son does it with his friend. And, blah, blah, blah. and she was all fucking weird. But uh, uh, he thought that was the coolest thing ever. Yeah. So and I live in the same. Know. I live in like the same town. So I'm hoping I'll find that same kid one day. And I'll be like, "Do you watch?" You know, and I'll be like, "Ha ha!" And I'm Hugo, and he'll be. It and is he, I. And, and he'll be like, "Oh!" And it'll be probably underwhelming and awkward because I don't know how to act in social situations, especially ones in which I am the center of attention. But still, <laughs> I'll probably make it into a better story for the show, and that's what's important. Anyways, Susan Mazinski, which I struggled to pronounce, says. It is now a proven fact that it is impossible to eat or drink anything whilst watching you two. But really, though, are you guys gay? I have no fucking clue. Uh, so we will do the first part first. I think there are. it's a short list, because I assume this means from laughter um, and not disgust. Um, there's a short list of foods that you can absolutely uh, enjoy and, and one drink that you can enjoy while watching us. Um... The foods are crack cocaine and cocaine, and the drink is bong water. Is Wait, is crack cocaine, like, you, you eat it through you your nose, you snort it. No, I eat it. Oh, crack cocaine, actually, no, crack cocaine you smoke, and normal cocaine you snort. Like, no, none, of that is, none of that's really through your mouth. Like, crack cocaine is going to your lungs, not your stomach. So there's no version of this where no, that's I correct. I eat it. You oh, eat you, like eat, a... you eat crack cocaine. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, you right it. now, you probably get some effect, but I'm going to let you know right now, like, 
bang for your buck speaking if you smoke that shit if you like go to a store and buy a crack pipe you're gonna you're gonna get nah. way more value for your crack i like pretending that the youtube money we make is like martin screlly money oh okay well i'm just saying whatever you got to do to get your crack cocaine fix but i mean i the cocaine is definitely not though because that goes through your nose like for, for show no, I just sprinkle it into my mouth. Oh. Like an analgesic. Oh, I, I guess that'll, like, rub it on your gums. At least work it in yeah, there. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, no, like, I get it. And then the bong water, that doesn't do anything. That's just gross. No, but, that is uh, just gross. Are we gay, Hugo? Um, I don't think so. I haven't checked recently, but, like, last How time I checked, check I, like, that? have a girlfriend of, th- of three and a I, half years almost. So, like. I have a girlfriend as well, and she has a vagina, I'm sh- pretty sure. I've been putting it somewhere. I assume it's a vagina because I haven't heard any complaints. But, like. Right, same. I guess I haven't checked. And now we come to, the, I guess, for the first time ever, a speed round where Jake's going to just answer questions quickly, I guess. And I, I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to have pretty much no input because I, I don't want to interrupt his speed. So here we go. Lightning round. Mark Lance, you are never going to let me touch your penis, are you? Nope. Hoglamono, this is the 3,555th comment. I am an atheist and every religion is stupid. Let's all be equal now. You're the worst. I hate you. I hope you die. Kaneki, Ken One-Eyed King, my butthole hurts. You're welcome. Hex Blackwood, I'm playing Clicker Heroes. Here's the attention you are obviously begging for. Page name, what did you say that is the Hebrew version of hell? Shale, pay attention, cunt. Evan Coffee, your name is very misleading. So is yours, should I drink you? Your average internet atheist. Amazing video, I love wasting my only, only meaningless life talking about a being that I believe doesn't exist. I'm intellectually to superior to 99.9% of the world's population, including Isaac Newton, that Christian retarded scientist. He has nothing on Richard Dawkins, my prophet. Nailed it. And that's it. All right, so thanks everyone. This is, uh... This has been a, a ride. This is this is the drunkest I've ever been while uh, recording an episode, which is, which was a tactical uh, miscalculation on my part. But here we are. Yeah, wasn't intended. That's okay. It's fine. Uh, that's it. You gonna you gonna say words to make them leave? Oh, I guess we can. They don't leave unless we do with a thing. You can, they will I, literally stay here unless we say things to them. Oh well, okay. To let you guys free, you can always follow us on Twitter at Bible Reloaded. You can follow Hugo Hugo Reload, and you can also subscribe to the channel and make comments, and then I'll read them. You can always donate to our Patreon campaign, and uh, we do a once-a-month Patreon-only hangout, and that's a lot of fun. See, that I can do drunk. I could be, like, blackout drunk, and I think I could probably say that, like, spot yeah. on. Uh, yeah, Only do- $1 a month gets you access to all the Patreon things, just saying. Yeah, it's all right. I, I enjoy it typically, and I'm usually if, sober, so... If like, every one of you donated $1 and got into the Patreon thing every month, we could buy so many drugs. Do you know how many drugs we could buy? All the drugs! All the, like, every drug! All the drugs I'm aware of, which is not a lot. I was very serious into my school's D.A.R.E. campaign, so, like... <laughs> my, my D.A.R.E. officer's name was Officer Wiener. Other than uh, other than the the alcohol, that's a true story. And the pot, like I'm yep. super I'm super strict on my dare campaign. Like I've I've I've, I've faltered so far, but I'm like 99 percent <laughs> sure I'm not ever gonna do cocaine or shrooms or LSD unless someone brings me those things. In which case, I'm gonna do the shit out of them. Anyway, so thanks everyone. Until next time, I'm Hugo, and I'm Jake, and this has been uh, Jake reads your comments number. I forgot. Don't touch me, wizard. Anyway, don't touch me there, wizard. It was don't, don't touch me. It was it was it was don't touch me, wizard. I think. Oh well, now see the uh, the first time around it was like molesty, but now it sounds like I'm wizard racist. I don't know, honestly, at this like, point, don't I'm, touch I'm, me. It'll make me dirty. I'm starting to think vodka isn't good for me. It's not. It's not good for anyone. Oh, fuck! I didn't. That's why Russia.